This is pretty cool, I think. Pretty sure I didn't ask a trip like this one time. Anyway. So what I'm filming here is non-visible light using a modified Canon 70D. What manufacturers, camera manufacturers do is they install a filter which is basically it looks like a thin piece of uh, translucent film the reddish tint reddish pinkish tint to it that is an IR cut filter manufacturers install those over their sensors to block infrared light near infrared light because it's it's not desirable um, a, a cannon or a, a camera sensor is capable of seeing infrared whereas our eyes are not so to normalize the imaging of the camera they use an IR cut filter but if you operate on your camera or I advise paying a professional to operate on your camera camera to have that removed you can then buy uh, specialty uh, notch filters like the the filter that I'm shooting in now is uh, 850 nanometers which basically means it's only letting uh, wavelengths of light at 800 and 50 nanometers through to the sensor so in essence what you what you're seeing here it's not actually color but an image of infrared light being reflected off of the objects that you see uh, if you notice all the trees are white uh, it's because plants have a special, they're genetically developed so that they reflect almost all infrared light. So it's being passed back to my camera sensor as, as being hot or white. Now the sky, on the other hand, and water which absorbs easily absorbs IR light is a lot darker come on that better not be a, a pile of shit that's all I know get up 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 come on it's a dead bird get up no yuck it's a dead bird why would you want to roll on a dead bird, you goofball? With this uh, camera being modified, I can also, which is originally why why I had it modified uh, to begin with, um, was so that I could uh, pick up H alpha in my astro astro imaging sessions uh, H alpha which is at I believe 664 or 54 nanometers um, is also up there um, with infrared near infrared light 
and is blocked by the cut filters. Well, almost completely blocked by the cut filters installed by the manufacturers. So I originally got this camera uh, for astrophotography. I bought it, had it uh, operated on, and have been using it for a few months now with uh, different astronomical filters, uh, H alpha, uh, sulfur oxygen, um, and then I also have an, uh, a filter that I use with it um, the majority of the time, which is a, uh, a light pollution filter, uh, CLS CCD filter, which is also a, a notch filter. And <clears throat> what it does is basically notches out um, undesirable uh, sources of light, uh, the light signatures from signature from halogen lights, uh, mercury uh, vapor lights, sulfur vapor lights, or not sulfur. Um, I forget what the other one is, but no, no, no uh, sources of uh, light pollution are notched out completely. While desirable sources like H alpha, um, like O2, like uh, S3. Um, <clears throat> and just about everything else, every other light, light source that you're able to see in space is allowed to pass through the filter and is recorded by the sensor. But I'll definitely be making more content. Uh, around this subject. Um, I've been want, wanting to uh, you know, start something on the internet for a while now and I've been putting it off and putting it off. I mean, I have dozens of websites. So they're all content, was they're all built for for one reason, to, uh, to push traffic to and to convert or click through or whatever, to make money with. Um, and try something different. I want to work on something that I enjoy doing. Uh, I love photography, especially uh, astrophotography. And I'm doing this uh, infrared photography. I'm also kind of hooked on it. So I think through my domain, which is jerhetrick.com, J E R H E T. R I C K dot com and then through my YouTube account which is Jer Hetrick. So but anyways, till next time. Peace out people.